Good morning, Mom, Dad. Morning, honey. Morning. So when do we leave for the police station? We will be leaving in an hour's time. We would need to get into our disguises first. All right then, shall we? I will start the car. All right. Okay, I think this is everything we need. All right, Mom, I'm ready. Okay, here's a notebook. You should note down anything that helps us confirm that the murderer was a vampire. Shall we go over our covers once more? But we already did that in the car. Michaela, it won't hurt to do it once more. Okay, fine. All right, Michaela, I'm an intern working on this murder case alongside you and you. Right, and I'm Professor McGonagall working on this case alongside you. And I'm Professor Sully working on this case alongside you both, and I'm leading this case. All right, seems like we all remember our covers. Shall we get going? Yes, we shall. May I help you? We are here to research and investigate on the murder that happened a few years ago at this town. Oh yes, I believe you have made a call. Your organization has informed us that you will be coming today. Come on in. Before we continue with any discussions, I would need to see your warrant. No problem, Professor. Right. Here you go. All right then, come on into my office. Mabel, could you prepare the files needed for the murder case that happened a few years ago? Oh, is it the unsolved one? Yes, all right. All right, ask away. Do you have any photos of the victims? Yes, we do. All right, come with me. All right, let me pull up the photos. Here, this is the photo of the first victim and this is the photo of the next. Where exactly did these murders take place? If I'm not wrong, they all took place near Johnson Street. Hmm, what was the cause of death that was announced? As of right now, it is still labeled as an unsolved case, since there were no paw prints, no traces, no nothing, and there were no weapons at the place of death. Could you send us all these details? Yes, actually, my... Assistant Mabel went to take the file. You guys could bring the file back home, but do remember to return it to us by this weekend. Of course, no problem. Alright, if that's it, I have another client, so you should take your leave. Yes, of course. Come on. Hello, I believe this file is for you three. Do remember to return them by this Friday. Yes, we will. Thank you very much. All right then, have a nice day. We better head home, it's getting dark. I agree. Shall we change out of our disguises and then come back to analyze? 
Sure. All right. Let's go change then. Dad, could you pull up the photos of the victims again? Why? I remember seeing something on both the victims' necks. Oh, right. Here. What are you looking at, hun? See? Both the victim has two whole bite marks on their necks. This is the type of bite mark a vampire leaves after biting its victim. Oh my dog. Let me see. Oh my dog. That's definitely a vampire's doing. According to this book, vampires definitely do leave two whole bite marks after biting its victim. Does this mean our guessings were right? The murderer is a vampire? We can't be 100% sure. Let's try looking for other confirmations, but so far, this is a pretty solid evidence. Wait, it says here that there was not much spillage of blood, and not a lot of blood was left in the victim's body. That proves that it was a vampire's doing. It would have sucked all the victim's blood, so not much is left to spill out. It also says here that it was a full moon. And that's when the vampires are most hungry and thirsty for blood. This all makes sense. Yes, it does. And this is enough concrete evidence to prove that was a vampire's doing. All right, let's update the organization. I believe you have an update for me. Yes, we do. We can now confirm that the murderer is a vampire. We have sent you the evidence. All right then, I believe your task now is to identify the vampires living in your town and hand them over to the organization. Yes, of course. All right then, good luck.